Okay, here we are. We're in the final stages of completing this large male lion painting. So as you can see, I'm working on the mane right now. And I have previously, before I did the face, we went in and put in some uh, just various tones of burnt sienna, yellow ochre, uh, a little bit of burnt umber, and uh, maybe some raw sienna mixed in with that. Um, and then we brightened it back up with a little bit of um, Indian, what is it, Indian yellow yesterday. So uh, it's dried enough that I was able to go over, and this was real important for me because I want to get a flow smooth of the hair. Went over and lightened this with some, uh, I'm sorry, dampened it with some linseed oil. So we're getting a wet on wet painting effect here. And I'm trying to adjust this iPad so you can sort of see what's going on. I think I may have to hold with one hand again. So then again, tell my family I want a GoPro for Christmas. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Real simple. I've loaded my brush. I did still go ahead and dip into my medium a little bit. Um, it's not quite soupy, but it's, it's a slippery type of paint texture here. And I'm just going through just this simple, following through all the way down to the end here with these various little textures. And then what I'll do is we're just going to keep carrying that through on through the mane. See, like so. And I'm standing a little sideways and it's, it's late in the evening. I get most of my energy in the evening. Um, so I'm standing sideways so you can uh, see what's happening here with painting and I'm reloading my brush between eh, probably every stroke or two because this is a really large painting so I want to make sure the paint flows properly with this and then I'm getting enough on there. You can't paint if you don't have enough on your brush, right? So I just did this one a little bit backwards and it's okay to do that once in a while too. So we're going to come up and put in these details like this. And I prefer to get the dark in first because, you know, then you can kind of see and you can build your dimension and get some lights and layers going here. And then if I have to go back in, I'll put a little bit more dark back in at the end to give it some texture. I'm sure I'll cover some of that up and uh, that, that's fine. That's what the hair is. It's a, not all the same color. So you're going to use various colors and tones and shades and places to get that down. Um, so I'm going to have to move in here a little bit more than what I can see from this angle. So I'm going to say goodbye for now. And uh, maybe I'll show you a little bit of the ends here. And I think I'll come back in and do some of those a little bit more, uh, a little bit later because they are kind of a gold. So I'm going to need a little bit different color to blend back in with those. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this lion progress. I'm so excited. I've been waiting to get to the main. I am almost near the end. I do have some minor details. I'll touch up in the, the face when I'm finished. I am very particular. And of course, we need to work on the chin um, and the whiskers. And that will be the end of this painting. So I'm, I'm very excited to see it all come together. And I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have. Good night.